Salam sejahtera anda bersama saya Rizal Zulkapli dan ini Awani Global. Dengan sejarah yang panjang dan juga pernah berperanan sebagai pusat pengajian pada sekitar kurun ke-15 dan 17 Uzbekistan tentunya adalah destinasi utama pelancongan dunia dengan pelbagai destinasi yang menarik. Namun dengan di mana dunia dengan globalisasi, di mana peluang untuk anda mengembara dan juga meneroka dunia lain terbuka dengan lebih luas pada ketika ini, apakah cabaran untuk Uzbekistan menarik lebih ramai pelancong masuk ke negara dan juga apakah cara-cara dan juga strategi terbaik untuk negara ini menarik pelancong dari Malaysia dan juga bagaimana hubungan antara Malaysia dan juga Uzbekistan dapat ditingkatkan lagi untuk memastikan hubungan yang wujud 27 tahun lepas dapat uh, dibesarkan dan juga dimaksimumkan uh, dan kita bersama dengan Tuan yang terutama Rafshav uh, Usmanov uh, Duta Besar Uzbekistan ke Malaysia untuk membincangkan perkara ini. Thank you very much Your Excellency for joining us today. First of all, let's talk about Uzbekistan. Uh, both countries yeah. Um, have uh, Malaysia and Uzbekistan have bilateral relations that go way back 27 years um, with the visit of the late president of, um, of Uzbekistan, Islam Karimov. Yeah. Um, what has the progress been so far? Uh, what can we see um, from the 90s to 2000 and now 2019? Mm -hmm. okay, thank you very much for the question. Uh, first of all, I would like to say that uh, back in my country, we perceive Malaysia as a um, time-tested, trustworthy and reliable partner uh, in this region. And we believe that uh, the potential of this country is, is huge and not only in the Southeast Asia but also in the, in the Muslim world and in, on the international arena. That's why we have uh, the whole scope of uh, cooperation and relations between our two countries. And you rightly mentioned that the uh, first visit of our, our president, our late president to Malaysia happened in two, two, uh, 1992 and then it was the reciprocal visit of uh, um, uh, the Prime Minister Tun Mahathir at that time, in uh, 1993 and then it was the exchange of visits, uh, so uh, your Prime Minister Mr. Badawi visited Uzbekistan also in 2000. Uh, Eight, mm -hmm. and also our president came here 2005 so uh, we, we had uh, exchange of visit on the highest level uh, after that uh, we had uh, relations on different levels in on terms of on the level of ministers of uh, foreign affairs on other ministerial levels but uh, I would say that uh, relations going uh, smooth and going up uh, and also uh, in my case I came to this country at, uh, in May last year, just one week after the historical event in, mm. in, in Malaysia, after the elections here. So I witnessed all, uh, all uh, changes, all reforms yeah. and uh, challenges also which uh, government are facing here. Mm -hmm. And I can see that uh, the new government here are doing a lot of things for the ordinary Malaysians. This mm -hmm. is the aim of this, uh, of this, of this party, of this, of this government at the moment. And actually, as an ambassador and as a citizen of Uzbekistan, I made a kind of parallel with my own country mm -hmm. because at the moment uh, we have a relatively new government also uh, headed by the president, Shavkat Mirziyoyev, mm -hmm. uh, who came to power uh, more than two years ago. And actually, the, the policy which is, uh, which is he, uh, he is doing is similar to what is uh, happening here. Uh, a lot of attention paying to the ordinary Uzbeks, a mm -hmm. lot of attention paying to the trade, commerce, uh, investment into the country, and uh, also education and uh, promotion of tourism. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, our president is putting uh, uh, aim in front of every ambassador he is appointing to, to rest on the three pillars. The first one is trade, second one is in investment, third one is tourism. Mm -hmm. So on these issues we are, we are working a lot. Okay, so you've got a lot of work in front of you. Yeah. Uh, but, but speaking of um, reliable partners, um, um, we're looking at trade um, numbers for both countries. It's still maybe on the low side. We're looking at 78.3 78 million um, in uh, 2018. Yep. What new areas of growth can both countries explore yeah. um, to, to increase that? 
yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, uh, before uh, uh, saying, uh, um, answering this about about economy, I would like to say uh, when we talk about the reliable uh, partner, we, I would like also to touch upon a little bit on politics because mm. uh, I just wanted to to remind you that Uzbekistan uh, fully supported the initiative of Malaysia. Uh, in, on the General Assembly, UN General Assembly on moderation, mm -hmm. which took place 2017. And also just recently, our country uh, uh, supported Malaysian can, uh, candidacy for re-election of uh, commissioner to the Independent Permanent Human Rights Commission for the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, mm -hmm. which took place at the ministerial meeting uh, of Minister of Foreign Affairs of this organization in Abu Dhabi, just at the beginning of this March. Mm -hmm. So we can say that we are supporting uh, Malaysia on on political side, but when we come to the to the uh, to economic side, uh, mm -hmm. you are absolutely right that the figures of trade is not quite uh, big. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say I would like to say that actually this is probably due to the to the distance between the country. I mean, in terms of uh, in terms of geography, mm -hmm. but. Uh, uh, I, if, you, if I may, I can give you some figures. Uh, the, the, the trade is growing. Mm. If we'll take the statistics and compare it uh, 2018 with 2017, mm -hmm. the overall growth of trade between two countries went up to 20%. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the growth of export from, from Uzbekistan to this country went up by 60%. Mm -hmm. So it means that uh, both sides, uh, the businessmen on the both sides have a perspective, have a, have a, have a future mm -hmm. and the potential to work. Uh, and actually, uh, we, the both, both economies uh, needed each other. Mm -hmm. And if we talk about the trade, what we, what we sell to each other, um, the, the, uh, the import from Uzbekistan to, to Malaysia consists of uh, fertilizers, fruits, vegetables, honey. Mm -hmm. We are very famous for our uh, agricultural products okay. uh, in Uzbekistan. And vice versa, from Malaysia to, to Uzbekistan, it is electronics, uh, it's a chemical products, chemical detergents, um, and, and also uh, IT. Mm -hmm. yep. um, but in the near future, we are hoping to, to expand our trade and export from Uzbekistan to, to Malaysia in terms of textile, mm -hmm. uh, silk, mm -hmm. Because uh, as far as I as far as I know, uh, the local batiks uh, are yeah. using good 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 quality silk, yes, and we can yes. we can offer that okay. from Uzbekistan. Because uh, as you know, we are situated at the crossroads of the Great Silk Road, and yeah. we have we still have that tradition in, in economy and craftsmen and so on. And also the leather, the the, the export of leather mm -hmm. is also interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting would be interesting between uh, for the businessmen of two countries. Okay, let's take a short break, Your Excellency, and when we come back, we'll talk about the tourism part um, of <laughs> Uzbekistan. It's very interesting uh, that, that you've got a lot of interesting places um, and uh, um, sites um, that tourists can visit. But what are some some of the challenges uh, for these tourists to to go in, mm. and what are some of the challenges for you mm -hmm. to also um, sell your country out mm -hmm. there, compete mm -hmm. with other countries? Bertemu kembali dan kita bersama dengan tuan yang terutama Rafshan Usmanov, duta besar Uzbekistan ke Malaysia. Your Excellency, you, um, we know that Uzbekistan has a lot of really interesting architecture buildings, and um, you've got you also have Tashkent, uh, um, uh, a city, and you, you you have the Bolshoi Ballet uh, Theatre Orchestra. Uh, I'm a, a big fan of that. Um, uh, what are some of the challenges to attracting Malaysian tourists um, right now to, to Uzbekistan? Yeah, uh, I actually I will, I will answer quite short about the challenges because uh -huh. actually there is no challenge for, for, for Malaysian people to go to, go to Uzbekistan. Uh -huh. They just grab the ticket and have a direct flight mm -hmm. because we have direct flight between KL mm -hmm. and Tashkent twice mm -hmm. a week. Mm -hmm. uh, so the only challenge for the Malaysian tourists to go to Uzbekistan is just to be in the plane for more all around the seven hours. That's it. That's, that's not too bad. That's, that's, too that's bad. the only challenge <laughs> okay. uh, because actually we have uh, visa-free regime for Malaysians. Mm -hmm. um, you, can, you can 
stay in, in Uzbekistan for, thir for up to 30 days mm. without, without visa. And actually the same regime is working for, all, for 64 countries. Mm -hmm. We introduced it just recently. Mm -hmm. And uh, still, if you are from the country which needs a visa, you can apply for the, for the, uh, for the uh, on online to get the electronic visa, which is mm -hmm. very fast. And if you are traveling by transit, uh, you can enjoy five days free visa overstay for transit purposes in, oh. in, in Uzbekistan. Okay. So uh, there is no challenges for okay. tourists to come. But for, uh, for th there is a challenges probably for us to, to attract people to, to come to Uzbekistan. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, uh, me, for me as, a, as ambassador, one of the first challenges for this is to the lack of promotion, of course. Mm -hmm. Actually, because uh, I can say that uh, our country is um, our destination, Uzbekistan, is a kind of hidden, um, hidden uh, treasure mm -hmm. of Central Asia mm -hmm. for tourists mm -hmm. uh, to, to find out and to discover. Uh, actually, uh, our traditional markets uh, for, for tourism, I mean, to attract tourists, uh, it's, it's, it's Europe. Mm -hmm. um, our new markets at the moment uh, are um, uh, Turkey, China, Japan, and Korea. Mm -hmm. And our growing markets uh, is uh, Malaysia, Singapore, and Indonesia. Mm -hmm. So the number of uh, Mal Malaysians came who, who came to Uzbekistan with the touristic purposes uh, doubled mm -hmm. in, co in comparison with the, with the previous year. But the number is still very low. I can give it to you. I mean, it's only 3,000 uh, Malaysians visited Uzbekistan last year mm -hmm. when uh, the number of Uzbek, Uzbek citizens came to, to this country is almost 12,000. So, wow. yeah, we, yeah. so we have to do yeah. more you're, to, to support your tourism industry, yeah, right? Yeah, but yeah. what are some of the strategies that you want to put forth or the government has put yep. forth to attract more tourists? Yeah, uh, actually, um, I would like to, to, to share with you the information about Uzbekistan as mm. it is. I mean, what, what is Uzbekistan? What, mm. can, what, what can we sell, mm -hmm. as we can say? First of all, it's, uh, what, what, we, what we offer is uh, historical religious tourism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, Uzbekistan is known for the, for the birthplace and the, 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 the place and territory where worked and lived such a prominent theologists and scholars like Imam al-Buhari, mm -hmm. At-Tirmizi, uh, and uh, Al-Harazmi, where we have the, the temples, uh, the, the graveyards for, uh, dedicated to them, mm -hmm. the mausoleums of mm -hmm. those, of those uh, great people. And this is a kind of uh, people for pilgrimage mm -hmm. to, uh, from around the world to, to go there. This is, this is the one, because we have more than 7,000 historical monuments around the country. Oh, wow. And there are cities known for the, for, for in, around the world, uh, the cities like Samarkand, Bukhara, Hiva, mm -hmm. uh, all of them are the same age or even older than the Rome. Mm -hmm. And um, this is a kind of attraction destinations for, for, for people to come to, to Uzbekistan. And what we do, and one of the, one of the, one of the strategies we, we started recently, we start to, to appoint uh, tourism ambassadors of Uzbekistan in each country. Mm -hmm. And in Malaysia, we, we, we made even uh, step forward. We um, uh, appointed uh, Islamic uh, ambassador, uh, ambassador for Islamic tourism of Uzbekistan in Malaysia. Okay. It's this, it's, uh, you well known this person. Uh, it's um, uh, uh, Imam, um, it, it, actually his, uh, you, you know him very well. This is Mufti of Perlis. Ah, yeah, Dr. Maza. Okay, Dr. Maza. Dr. Maza, okay, yeah. Okay. Actually, now he officially became uh, the ambassador of Islamic tourism okay. of Uzbekistan. And he's there to promote, to promote Islamic yeah, tourism, yeah, yeah, yeah. knowledge center. Yeah, absolutely in right. In, in absolutely Uzbekistan. right. Recently, he paid a visit to, to, to Bukhara, mm -hmm. where we had the first uh, forum on, on Islamic tourism international forum. So there he was uh, granted with the certificate uh, as, an, um, as an ambassador. So this is w one of the strategies. In other strategies, of course, we are trying to, to do our best through the, through the mass media, through, the, through internet, uh, through other channels. Mm -hmm. And also I would like to say that, uh, just for information, 
uh, that uh, Uzbekistan is famous not only as a, as a, as a religious uh, destination for tourism, but also as a gastronomical. Okay. Yeah, recently uh, uh, our country got the, this, uh, got the prize as the best destination for gastronomic tourism by uh, National Geographic Traveler magazine. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. That's so such a huge honor. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. And actually, this is other thing uh, what we can be proud of. Mm -hmm. And also the safety, which is very, very important by, uh, for example, by the index of Gallup Law and Order Index. This mm -hmm. is kind of uh, special uh, classification. Uzbekistan is the one of the most sa safest country in the world. Okay. So for Malaysians who would like to come to Uzbekistan, they could be sure that they, they will be safe they will see a lot of interesting places and they will uh, indulge themselves with a nice and very diversified cuisine okay speaking of cuisine um i heard that you're still working with uh, jakim yep. um to to get hala certification what's the progress um, yep, with actually, regards to that yeah uh, we had the um, last year we had a delegation of our Uzbekistan Standard Agency. This is the agency for standardization. The, uh, they uh, signed the memorandum. They signed the agreement with the Jakim for introducing uh, halal certificate in Uzbekistan and also to uh, to um, to install it not only in food industry but also in his hospitality. Mm -hmm. And according for that, uh, there is a negotiations between two 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 sides to send the special trainers and to set up the training courses for Uzbek specialists in terms of introducing halal certificates and halal standards in our country. Mm. This is uh, it's going uh, very actively. So that's part of the cooperation that you, you have with, with this country. Um, so, so lastly, before, before we go to the, the, uh, the, the short break, um, I, wa I want to look at um, this Islamic tourism in, mm -hmm. in Uzbekistan. Mm -hmm. um, how is it different from the other Islamic tourism um, packages offered by other countries or destinations offered by other countries? Um, if you have one phrase to sell, because, because I know I just came back from the uh, Indonesian embassy and they have uh, one particular phrase where they use over and over again. Is there a particular phrase for Uzbekistan to attract uh, people to come to that country? Actually, the phrase you say, yeah? yeah? yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, we don't have uh, any slogan for, for Islamic tourism, uh -huh. but uh, we can say only that uh, this is the birthplace of Imam al-Bukhari. Mm. Nothing to add. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> On that note, we'll take a short break and then we'll come back. We'll talk about um, uh, how do you build that people-to-people -people relationship be between both countries. Then we'll come back to the next question. Bertemu kembali kita bersama dengan tuan yang terutama Rafshan Usmanov, uh, duta besar Uzbekistan ke Malaysia. Your Excellency, before we go to the people-to-people -people relationship, let's look at the investment, the I portion of the TTI that you mentioned yeah. earlier. Um, we have um, country, uh, we have Malaysian investors in Uzbekistan, but what are some of the areas that you think um, Malaysian investors can go in and also help uh, the nation to develop? Yeah, uh, actually at the moment we have um, uh, negotiate. We are having negotiations between between Uzbek and Malaysian in sites or in, in terms of investments in uh, oil and gas, mm -hmm. chemical industry, construction and IT. Okay. And there is a plan uh, to construct a big plant in Uzbekistan with in direct foreign investments from the Mal Malaysian side. Mm -hmm. uh, this plant is connected with the chemical industry. Mm -hmm. And also we are having the huge uh, project in construction also with Malaysian partners. Mm -hmm. Uh, saying that, uh, I'm s I would like to draw attention of uh, of the viewers also that Uzbekistan, from year and from uh, uh, one year to another, is becoming more and more at attractive for foreign for foreign investments. Mm -hmm. Investment. Uh, first of all, it is uh, we just recently introduced special visa um, visa program similar to the. Malaysia, my second home. Oh. Uh, it's Uzbekistan, my second home. Uh, with uh, some portion of investment, you can get the, uh, the multiple visa for several years. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one thing. And also, uh, we are looking forward to, to, promo uh, to, in to improve our hospitality service in terms of constructing of new hotels around the country because tourism is becoming the booming industry in, in, in our country. Mm -hmm. And for doing so, uh, actually, we are planning to construct more than a thousand new hotels in three in three years. Oh, wow. We are hoping to to attract more investors in, in that in that area. And actually, what is interesting when you are investing in the in hotels, 
the government reimburse the money back. This is kind of special program we introduced recently. This could be also interesting. And, um, and also I would like to mention that, that recently Uzbekistan was moved from the, by the classification of uh, risks mm -hmm. made by the organization for, uh, by, by the OECD, mm -hmm. Organization for Cooperation and Development, from the group six to group five, mm -hmm. together with uh, such countries as Vietnam, uh, Turkey, uh, Serbia, Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan, and others. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of potential there for investors. It is, it is, it is absolutely right. Mm -hmm. And um, also, I hope that uh, we'll do the success story uh, with uh, with Malaysian companies and other Malaysian partners will follow them. Okay, um, let's talk about the people-to-people -people relationship. Um, we have about about close to 300 Uzbek students st currently studying in, in Malaysia. And you mentioned earlier about the 3,000 Malaysian tourists um, uh, traveling to um, uh, Uzbekistan and the 12,000 Uzbeks are coming, coming here. here to Malaysia. Yep. You, you see, you have this um, semblance of the people-to-people -people relationship. But what more can be done to, to further cement this relationship that we have um, b between both countries? You have been very supportive of our moderation approach. Um, we are both new government moving forward. Um, uh, wh where else do you see we can cooperate when it comes to people to people? Yeah, uh, uh, thank you very much for this question because uh, people to people uh, relations between uh, two countries is very important. It's so called uh, public diplomacy. Mm -hmm. Yes, between two countries because we have a lot of in common. We have uh, common values, common traditions, and uh, actually, in my personal uh, point of view. When I came to this country, I am feeling myself as at home because people are hospitable, mm -hmm. people are kind, and uh, it reminds me my my home actually. Yeah, yeah, that, that's for sure, and may, probably that's why this uh, this country is very popular among Uzbek, Uzbek students. Mm -hmm. And taking this into consideration, we are planning uh, to 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 boost our cooperation in terms of education, mm -hmm. because Uzbekistan is planning to be to become a uh, so-called uh, educational hub in the region, as Malaysia is, is, is in this region, mm -hmm, actually. Mm -hmm. And um, we are planning to open the branches mm -hmm. of uh, some Malaysian universities, like UTM, mm -hmm. University of Technology of Malaysia, Binary University, the, actually the vice chancellor of this university is going to Uzbekistan this week okay. to open uh, the branch actually mm -hmm. back in back in Tashkent in the capital mm -hmm. and also uh, the management and uh, the, un, un, uh, the Malaysian Integrated Business College mm -hmm. which is opening its branch also in Uzbekistan. They will teach students in, in the fields of tourism, uh, finance, uh, management, banking, uh, and other sphere in IT, which mm. is which is quite uh, interesting for us. Mm -hmm. This is one of the pillar of uh, of our cooperation. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one, of course, is the cultural relations. Mm -hmm. uh, just recently, we uh, had a visit of our minister, minister of culture of Uzbekistan, who came to KL to participate at the eighth World Summit for Culture and Arts. Mm -hmm. He visit, uh, he he had a very fruitful meeting with the. Uh, Minister of Culture and Tourism of Malaysia mm -hmm. here and invited him to, to, to come to Uzbekistan also to participate in the f musical and cultural festivals which are uh, holding back in our country. One of them was going to be in April and the second one in, in, in August. Mm -hmm. And I hope that the Malaysian delegation will be, will be there and also Malaysian artists will be there. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, I would like to mention that uh, uh, Malaysia is very rich with culture and uh, doing a lot of events in which Uzbek artists are participating. Uh, mm -hmm. I would like to mention that uh, one of our famous drummers, uh, uh, Abbas Khan Kasimov from Uzbekistan, he participated at the unbeatable Kaleidoscope Drum Festival, mm -hmm. which took place in, in KL last year, which was amazing, amazing event and a very amazing performance. And almost um, one month ago, the group of uh, musical group from Uzbekistan came here and performed in front of the audience in in the Kale Tower, mm -hmm. in the Botanical Garden, in other in other places to to entertain the Malaysian crowd. Mm -hmm. And I think this will 
lead to the more uh, and deep uh, cooperation in, in the format of people to people. Okay, so it's not just dollars and cents. Absolutely right. Before we close the interview, I, yeah. I, I want to ask you one question. Yeah, um, with 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 what happened in New Zealand, I think both countries, yeah. Malaysia and Uzbekistan, has to show the world that this is, um, this is the Muslim, the Islamic world that we're talking about. The the moving forward, very progressive, yeah. um, very um, taking care of the people, and we're making friends with all the other people. Um, how can we both, both these nations, Malaysia and Uzbekistan, show to the world um, and to be the true example of, of, of how we should live together uh, in a very globalized world peacefully? Uh, uh, sure, I mean, uh, there is a need for, for both countries and, uh, and, uh, and not only us, not mm. only Malaysia and Uzbekistan and other countries to show the solidarity, mm -hmm. to show the, uh, the respect to each other, to sh show to uh, the tolerance towards uh, uh, other religions, races and mm -hmm. ethnic groups. And I think that this is a good, uh, Malaysia and Uzbekistan is a good example of that because uh, both countries are multi-ethnical, mm -hmm. both countries are hosting different uh, religious and living in the peaceful coexistence. Mm -hmm. And this is, I believe, could be the good example for others. Okay, thank you very much, Your Excellency. Uh, Tuan Yang Terutama Rafshan Usmanov, uh, Duta Besar Uzbekistan ke Malaysia, membincangkan berkenaan dengan hubungan dua hal Malaysia dan juga Uzbekistan dan juga apakah peluang-peluang baru yang boleh diterokai serta bagaimana kau untuk meningkatkan hubungan antara rakyat di Malaysia dan juga rakyat di Uzbekistan. Um, dan itu adalah uh, Awani Global untuk minggu ini. Teruskan bersama kami di Astro Awani, Berita Sekenap Dimensi. Salam hormat.